Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Keep my life on the shade. I can't deny how I feel inside. To make sure make me baby. Check that one don't work in there. Some of these sleeves don't work. They're too they, I don't know. We'll figure it out now though. Yeah, those ones don't work. I don't know what's wrong with those, but for some reason they don't want to slide in there proper. Ethan and dude, what are you doing? Um, do you don't answer your phone? Or do you not get my text messages? Um, the number you called me from a while back, the one you said mom said was yours, I've called and I've texted, uh, but I don't get any replies back. And I don't like calling your mom's phone because uh, I don't like bugging your mom or I just don't want to call mom's phone. I just don't. So um, if you have that same number, um, text me from it and I will uh, make sure it was the right number yep yeah, AirPods are at Walmart already oh, we just went to Walmart the other day and they said there's they don't have any available at the Walmart's here until 20, what, 23rd but um, um we can see the where Walmart's at I'll have, call, I'll have to call out there or something. I haven't forgot about your AirPods. I just I can't get AirPods if they don't have them anywhere we are. Or the listing you mom sh sh mom sent me the other day of the AirPods saying that they're in. They weren't in. So um, it's not like we're not going to get them. Because we will. Um, at the moment, I'm currently trying to move some of these cards so I can add some more bank money to the account and uh, possibly we go towards those mister but not working for a minute it kind of uh, is a bummer um, are, you, are you in class today are you in school or are you already off are you on your phone in school Right, Sam, right. Are you uh, sneaking over when you're in school, dude? If you're in class, you need 
get off the phone and get in your classroom and focus on school unless you're out of school already. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know how Fridays work for y'all over there. Nowadays, they just tell you, hey, yeah, hey, you don't got to come. You don't have to come to school on Fridays anymore or I give you so many days off. Air pods. But yeah, Sam, that uh, that John Morant back there, I had no idea, dude. I would have never known. And someone could have came up easy on that one. If they knew about it, of course. Which, those, those who, who are in the game, they probably know certain cards, of course. I got a mic. An Oni silver. I'm just gonna get this thing up here closer where uh, it's not so much glare. There's a lot of glare going on in the channel right now. The backdrop. I can actually lean in for the cards. Yeah, that is, that is definitely not the number you called me from the last time. Definitely not. Unless your mom told me was told me the number she gave me was a different number because there was no way that's close to a nine oh nine number. Don't know why you had a nine oh nine number in the first place. But that explains that explains that. Unless you're calling from somebody else's number and her mom just don't want to give me your number. I don't know. Anyways, I'll get it. I'll mark it right there. I'll text you after I get up the phone here. That makes sense. That was a number you called me from? The 909 number or this one? You you said you called me from a 909 number. And so did mom. So it's all right. I got it now. We'll fix it. Um, are, you, are you still moving to Texas, Ethan? I know mom mentioned somebody you guys were moving to Texas a while back, but I don't know. Don't worry, I won't tell mom you're online during school. <laughs> John Morant stud. I called the 909 number. Why would you call the 909 number if you had my other number? My number I already changed when I moved from out there. And you had it before because you called me on it from out here, dork. We, we play all the Madden all the time. So, yeah. But it's alright. You don't think you are? Why not? You should come out. You should come out. And move it. You should come out and move it, Dad. Move out here. I'm just kidding. I don't want, nah, I don't want to say that. Say that. And get mom mad. Mom won't let you come out here. She says you don't want to. So we got a Jerry West. I don't think he's gonna be the face of the the logo of the NBA anymore. It's gonna be Kobe. All-American Grant Williams, Tanner Horton Tucker, Ty William, Ty Jerome Silver. What are these silvers going for, uh, Sam? You have an idea? Depend. I know that. I know the Zion's are probably going. The Zion's are different, of course. Daniel Gofford, DeAndre Hunter. You don't think you are now? Just all around. Just mom's just gonna. Mom's deciding whether to move or not. I think she fell asleep. One second, man. see some more we got no don't think you are what happened all right we have a Austin Rivers barber shop looking thing <laughs> red white and blue is what they call it right unless you know you can call it a barber shop card hang those up on your barber shop wall Kawhi Leonard 
the first player to receive the new Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP trophy. And uh, that was pretty awesome because ever since Kobe Bryant left the game, I uh, became a big fan of Kawhi Leonard. Even with Kobe Bryant, when Kobe would, was playing, I was uh, up on uh, Kawhi Leonard. So that was pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Got a Julius Irving prism. I don't want to sleeve all these up. Be a lot of sleeves. I don't have that many sleeves. I'm about to run out of sleeves already. Christoph Porzingis. Did you take off already, Ethan? Got an emergent Kevin Huerta. Hey, where to? Hey, Sam, if you're here, still here, what, what's the best, uh, or what site do you use to go list all your cards if you put them online? Do you just do it on eBay, or is there a different, you do different ones? Zara, Zamari Smith, Phenoms. I think I might put these cards up on the auction lock pretty soon. Emergent Zari Smith. Zahari Smith. Mikhail Bridges. There's a nice uh, Devontae Graham silver. And that's from this year? Oh, that's from last year's. Devontae Graham from last year. and ebays landry shamet rookie card he's a good player in cards are kind of messed up on the bottom though let me see any silvers in here yeah i can see in here any silvers nope cash is quiet in the room i wonder what he's up to i know he i know dang well he ain't taking a nap Anthony Hamilton. The kids are really, really quiet, and you know they're not taking a nap. They're definitely up to something. Aaron Holiday rookie card. Alonzo Trayer. Trayer. Robunius Kukukus. Lonnie Walker. That's a good one. Not a silver, but. Seth Curry, Nicola Mucic, Jamal Murray, Paul Pierce, Dominance, Reggie Miller, Dominance, Terry Prince, Dwayne Reed, D'Angelo Russell. These are old. We got D'Angelo Russell with the uh, the the, uh, the uh, New York Nets, and he's now with the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, if I'm not mistaken. So those were the um those were the prisms that I've got sorted of some sort. Now we'll see what we have left coming through here. No, a lot of these um those are silvers, aren't they? Those silvers? Yeah they are. Shit. Both of them? That one is. Which one's a silver? Just two. You can tell the difference. All right, so those gotta get sleeved. Those are silvers, weren't they? So, uh, that's Graham. Where the other one go? Here it is, Buddy Hield. So 
So the top prospect of silver to look for is a Zion of this year. Uh, of course, I don't. I know I don't have that one, but um, last year, so uh, uh, Luka Doncic, wasn't it? So let's go there. These go here. These are back there. So the mention of the. Let's go with these ones. That's 2018s. I got 18s and 19s and stuff mixed up together. Zion and, and Jaw ja base of which one? The uh, this year? Of, of uh, the prisms or NBA prism or uh, Panini draft? There's all my my all my Morants. Yeah, MB oh NBA. Uh, uh NBA Prism, huh? Or Panini? Not NBA hoops. NBA. Yeah, I don't even think I have one of those to be honest. And that's uh Wow, well, I thought I did. I got the uh draft picks. I got NBA hoops. And uh, that's that's it. I'm not sure. Okay, I just throw himself a fit in there for some. All right, so let's see what we got next. Definitely, these gotta get sleeved. Oh, these are some nice ones here. I think you've seen these already. Got a Zion uh, NBA hoops. She's having a hard time in that picture for something. All right, we got a Zion's NBA hoops. We've got a Zion arriving now. That's a definitely that's a different version of this one. That one's a foil of some sort, and that's just a regular base looking one. But uh, it's a Zion, and it's a sleeved up version of a Zion now. And another Zion. Emergent. Zions and Zions and Zions. Man, I would, I would, I would be ecstatic if I go out to Walmart and find the uh, Donner's Optic Frank Thomas Silver. And find a blaster of some sort. Maybe a few blasters or... Hangers. Um, if I, I don't even put this on this. You want me to put that on that? Well, why'd you take it off? So is that what you're in there? Fail first. Is that is that what you're in there fussing about in there? Because you couldn't get this thing on this. What is this? What do you got anyways? Is it for? Where'd you get this from? Grandma. Does Grandma know this is for girls? You're putting a diaper on a little bunny thing. What is this, dude? So you're having a hard time in there, putting the diaper on this little thing, and what? Tail. The tail. The tail goes in that hole. Okay. Give me a second, man. Um, they're hard to find. Yeah, they, I'm, I'm, I've been hearing that, man. Um, like I said earlier, um, in, maybe in certain areas that they may still have them because not very many people go out looking for those are looking for them i guess you can say um smaller areas maybe but i'm putting it gave me all this girl stuff i'm putting a diaper on uh this thing he has give me one second what the heck a diaper so he he got this thing from his grandma in california and he just told me asked me to help him put this diaper on the thing so, okay the diaper's on now. Here you go. Go get your shoes it's and socks on. Stuff. Hey, go, can you give me a, a, a Mountain Dew real quick? Yeah, go get your shoes and socks on. And Grandma then we'll get... gave me this, all this stuff. I know. Stuff Grandma though. just gets you all kinds of random stuff. She just wants you to have everything, I guess. It's fine. As long as you don't get you no know, Barbies, we'll be good. Oh, yeah. Go give me, can you give me a, 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 a pop? 
And then um, put your socks and shoes on, and we'll wash your face, and we'll go outside. Casey Nine, what is up, brother? Um, yeah, they're hard to find, and I grant, and I happen to find some. Whew. What do you think, Sam? Should I should I uh, upload a video with them? Should I do a break? Um, should I? Of course, I like to share cards with y'all. Get like a, a team break or a spot break or something like that. Division break. Basketball? I don't know. I've never done basketball, so. Right on. You want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to take off. You want a drink? Yeah. Wired up. I'm about to get him wired up right now. You want the first? I'll let you get the first drink. Look at you. First drink. I said a drink, not a chug. Give me back. All right. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> Whoa. Let, me, let me finish this pizza. All right. Finish your pizza. Got an RJ Barrett purple. My son Ethan loves him some RJ Barrett's. I got to find the rest of his Barrett's and send them out. Or hold on to him until he comes and visits and give it to him in the box. I sent him, I sent him some for Christmas. I'm hoping he, he put them away in a box somewhere the ones i sent them uh of course there's no there are no autos or anything like that but i believe one of them was a one or two of them were, were a silver he's a job he's a uh, rj barrett basketball and then for football he's a julio jones baseball not really no nah, he's not really up to baseball there's a rookie card uh rj barrett so I still need the Zion and the John Morant in this one. If I find some more of these at Walmart, these may be available at Walmart still. Um, just because the Donruss is blown up. I remember last year they weren't, I got into the game, I got into this last year and th those are the first boxes I've got were basketball, the optic with Kobe Bryant on front. Um, got quite a bit of those. My first video I posted was the um, optic basketball. So I just found a uh, super short print of a John Morant in my box a minute ago. Totally unaware what it, what it was. It was a silver John Morant in the Duke uniform. But yeah, um... If you haven't checked out this guy right here, Vet City Life Sports Cards and Auctions. I got to put auctions on there, but you'll find them there. Um, he was in a stream and he brought that up because I showed him that one had a different backdrop or some sort. And he said, yeah, well, that's a super short print you have there. Had no idea. So, uh, sweet super short print of Morant. The Beast. Just waking up, huh? Well, I woke up about three hours ago. Cash let me sleep in today. Cash is hanging out today. Let's just sleep up all these Morants only because they're Barrett Barretts. And um, let's see what we get. All right, now I'm just sorting through some sorting through some basketball. I was doing some baseball earlier, but yeah, you know, I can only. Throw the crust in the trash. Uh, throw the crust in the trash. Um, I only do baseball so much. I'm just, I just kind of got, kind of got like, man, pooped out of it. I guess. I know there's a lot of baseball fans and stuff like that, but um, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch my channel over to basketball. Well, a lot of cards, I guess you can say. Until I remove some of these. Yeah, I'm just leaving up all these Barretts at the moment. Maybe I'll find another short print of of uh, maybe a uh, Barrett or um, another Morant. So, yeah, I was in a Vet City Live Sports Cards auction last night, and man, that guy's got some. That guy, that guy got some dang damn good stuff. I actually got my uh, first purchase of. My first vintage card purchase, I shall say. Now, do I have two of these ones is a question. Uh, do I? Oh, no, I don't. 
We got the card hobby is in there this morning, this afternoon. Good afternoon, Harvey, Todd Har the card hobbyist. My fault. I'm just trying to speak speak too fast. It didn't come out fast enough. You know. Just uh sorting through basketball and finding some things in here that I didn't know were in here. Uh sleeving up things and kind of taking a breather from baseball. Uh, baseball is not in season right now. Football's not in season unless you want to watch XFL. Baseball's going on and there's a lot of baseball basketball fans still out there. So um this is a uh, RJ Barrett from the National card. Got this from a card shop a while back. I got the top three rookies of these ones, football and uh, baseball as well. It's, uh, who's this guy? Uh, Tyler Hero. Is he a hero for Miami? Yeah, when I first started in the hobby, I, I went after basketball. I was going after basketball, and uh, I mean, I got a lot from last year, 2018. So I got the uh, Optic Hollow, got like a complete set of the uh, Ranger Rookie Hollows and stuff like that that I have in my box. I mean, that one's over here, 5,000 count, and plus this one here. So I'm just going to sort through some basketball. Like I said, the basketball hype right now is really, really high. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go out whenever Mama gets off work tonight and. Uh, Maybe we can hit up a Walmart or two, but whenever we go out, heat, whenever we go to Walmart, we go to more than one. So maybe we'll get lucky and find some of the Optic Donruss lying around, or someone went and stashed a few boxes behind um, the Pokemon cards or something, and figured, oh, I'll just stash these here. I'll come back and get them afterwards. And you find some, you find some cards hiding behind, behind, hiding behind. Uh, different um, section of cards because then you know if you're looking for basketball cards you're not going to look behind the Pokemon or look around the Pokemon or at least that's what I did <laughs> I'm like well I can't oh man I can't get this box today I want to get this one first I'll come back here tomorrow or the week after and, and get it and of course they're not there uh like, like I was telling everybody else, like probably certain areas or certain Walmarts, certain cities or states, people go take them out. Um, but in smaller cities or whatnot, there may not be so many collectors or so many people up on the card game. So you, you never know. We might get lucky. Um, but most of the time, the basketball ones out here are... are you, I can't really find the uh, 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 newer baseball. There's always find some basketball I mean I pulled quite a bit but like I said I just never I kind of just stopped stopped the ba basketball because I got a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewers that watch my channel or you know looking for baseball pretty much so uh I kind of uh I have this what is it cardboard yeah you can have no that's trash that's, that's from the pizza throw it in the trash uh, put that throw it in the trash you can get your fingers all full of grease and stuff Yeah, or they're um, not collectors, and they just they just know about the cards, and um, either from YouTube or just finding out on news channels or whatnot, and they go out and buy the whole rack, and um, sell a blaster for 60, 70 bucks or eighty bucks online, uh, just to make their profit back and not give a crap about the people who collect the cards and want the cards, um, and just want to price gouged everyone else um so yeah you know there's there's they, you got them people out there who just want to go and quadruple their money i mean there's nothing wrong with making your money but geez at least leave some for other people or um you can price gouge them but geez you do want 20 20 bucks for a blast and you go sell them for 80 bucks that's a big profit you can still sell them for 30, 35, and still make a good profit off of each, but yeah, it's just, that's just me. Mm. I need you to get your socks and shoes on 
And we gotta wash your face and brush your teeth, and we're gonna go outside and play some ball. So get going. I told you that already. But like I said, are they? They're just um, big b ball collectors. But yeah, I got into it in last year, and I started out with the uh, optic Donruss Kobe Bryant on the front of the box. I probably went out and got what, quite a bit of those actually. And now I'm just leaving up certain cards and rookies and going through basketball because I'm kind of bummed, burned out of baseball right now, man. To be honest. I mean, if anybody wants to buy all my baseball 5,000 count boxes, I mean, I have an email. I have a number. Uh, of course, if you're out of, out of the state, of course, it's going to cost you for shipping. But someone may be willing to pay for all that if they know what's in the boxes. Got the uh, Jeff Green, Clint Capilla, Josh Jackson. The camera's off. Sorry. Focus. Card hype. And George Garvin, Jaden Brown, Al Horford, and uh, who's this dude right here? Cam Reddish, pink. I just got rid of my Zion like this. Pulled a Zion relic out of a blaster box of uh, contenders. I sold that for 50 bucks at the card shop. Figured, eh, sell it right now before it falls. I can hold on to it and take a risk of it possibly gaining more, but at the same time, you never know with cards now. They can flop and they can, they can uh, lose value quick. But apparently the Zions right now are, are where it's at. I'm giving away my care, fair share of cards a while back. Um, there's a more drama rants. I did, I did end up finding a um, a super short print John Morant card a minute ago that I was not aware of, thanks to a uh, new friend in the community. Super short print John Morant NBA hoops. I'm like, yeah, right on, dude. I got this guy right here. Make it work. Why not? They may, they may not be my top guards I have there, but definitely worth it. Definitely worth putting up there, right there, since it's a John Morant. All right, so NBA hoops, John Morant, uh, R.J. Barrett. Cam Reddish. These are all Cam Reddish. Yeah, these are all Cam Reddish here. All right, Cam Reddish, Cam Reddish. Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero. There's that one, there's that one. Yeah, but these are all Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero. Yeah, it's Tyler Heroes. Jackson Hayes, Devin Tucker. These are all silver. Daniel Gaffer, Hunter, Jerome, McKeke. Just need one right there, don't I? These are all my John Morants, so I'll keep those right there. Alright, basketball hero. That's. What's up? You know where your sandals? No, I don't wear your sandals out there. We're gonna play ball. You can't. You can't play ball in bat in sandals. You just can't. I got my. I got my socks on by myself. Yeah, you did. Now you gotta put your shoes on. Now let's see if you can accomplish that goal. You, right now you're having a hard time putting your shoes on. I've said you put your shoes on. You put sandals on. You want to play ball in sandals? I mean, if you're Kobe Bryant, you can do it. But I don't think you're Kobe Bryant, son. You can be. You can you won't be Kobe Bryant, but you can be something close to Bryant. Uh, I had all my Kobe Bryant guards in here somewhere. Hopefully they're still here. Someone ran off with my Kobe Bryant cards. Dimension of the name. Okay. 
that is not a silver. All right. So if it's not a silver card, I won't put a sleeve in there. Good people we got watching. We got quite a bit of watchers streaming in here. All right, there's those. Thank you, uh, however many watchers coming here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming through and hanging out for a little bit. Won't be, I won't be much longer in here, but uh, I want to see what we have in my box in here. If I find them boxes, I'm definitely going to put them online. I'm going to bring them on here and show everybody I found them and see what we get. I might even uh, give away some cards like I always do and uh, do some spot breaks and stuff like that. Who knows? But we do have some good luck with finding things. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Uh, I'm actually going to probably get off here. And I think I may help get off, man. Sweet, sweet home Alabama. Da -da 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 -da. Donruss Optic. We gotta find Donruss. Ooh, I found some Kobe's. Nice. Let's see, I did a big jump. See, so you go through cars and you find some cars you don't know Look you even have. What? Yup. I did a big jump. I can still do that. We gotta find. We gotta keep finding some more of our Kobe's in here. Big jump. Yeah. Wait, you see this? We'll find some more silvers. We've got a Vince Carter silver. It's a nice card. This? Nicole Alexander Walker silver. Sweet. Dominant silver. Andre Robinson silver. We've got some good cards in here, dude. Sweet. Did you want to see this? You want to see what? My big jump. I did. Let's see if we can find some more I silvers in here. It. I seen it three times. You said, "Dude, I'm looking at the cards right now." Okay. I told you I'll be done in a second. You got your shoes on, your pant, your sweats on. Now we just gotta wash your face, brush your teeth. But this thing is hot. What is? This the black. Why? Because shouldn't be. I don't know. Is it supposed to be? Yeah. No. Nope. Go. Take that with you. All right. Put these you back can in here. cut ribbons, right? You can cut ribbons? I don't know. Can you? There's some nice Kobe Bryant's I pulled from there. NBA finalists. Kobe Bryant Prism. Nice card. In the 2009 NBA Finals, Brian hoisted the Larry O'Brien Trophy for the fourth time in his career when LA downed Orlando in five games. The Lakers star added a new accolade to the process, taking home the first of his two finalist, finals MVP awards after averaging 32.4 points, 7.4 assists, and 1.4 steals. That was from this year there. And then we got this nice one here. Add to the other 50 or 60 Kobe's. All right. Mom, mom, mom. Ah. There. Go in and close the door. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Uh, put all the other cards away right now.
Get your little butt. Get more of my Kobe's back here. Right there. Over here. You ain't lying there, Sammy. Maybe I have an inside person working at a Walmart's. My sister is actually a manager at Walmart in Arizona. So I wonder if I can uh, call her up and say, here, this is the product I'm looking for. They're coming in this date. Let me know when your cards come in. I will be there. And that can be one of them guys and grabs all of them. And not care about anybody else. But the people that are in my stream and sharing with them. And the ones who've been there from the beginning, you know. Not the ones just want to pop in there and uh. Oh, look what I found, Sam. Got a Markel Foltz from the Orlando Magic autograph. Pretty cool, huh? Jeez. Like, oh, he's got some basketball right now. Let's go. Oops, sorry, gotta go and subscribe. Oh, these are all autos. Shit. All right. So, uh, just going to the other pile. Not anything at my Walmart. Yeah, so they might not be there. And then you never know. You might have that that uh one one person that goes around to every Walmart from state to state and grabs them all. You know, them big time breakers they have on the YouTube channels or Facebook and the ones that have a hundred thousands of followers that can do that and have the money, you know. Um, but for guys like us, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. We can go around, we can go our, around our area and get some, but honestly, how many people are out in my area looking at basketball cards? So, uh, but yeah, who knows? I don't know. I might just uh, decide to give up on baseball cards and football and just stay on basketball. I mean, that is my sport. You know, that's what I play. That's what I've always been dominant at in the basketball world. If I went, uh, went, not, went the wrong way in high school, I probably could have been, you know, maybe a D1 basketball. I don't know about NBA. It depends on, you know, I was, I was up there. I was. That's what me and my brothers are. We're... we're for my brothers, if you put four of us together playing ball, honestly, I don't think we would lose. That's just my opinion. That's just crazy, man. How do you how do you find out the delivery routes? How how does someone? I mean, if that's the case, you might as well just find a Walmart truck and pull them over on the side of the road and say, "Hey, give me all your damn basketball cards." You know. That's just crazy. But yet, you know, people are going out there doing that. And then, I mean, if the, the, the supply and demand wasn't there, if people weren't buying them for the prices they're listing them, then they wouldn't they wouldn't be doing that. But people are out there buying literally mega boxes that go for 40 bucks, you know, for $120, 130 bucks. That's just crazy. And then you get the you get the box and then, oh, man, I didn't hit a Zion. Then you're like, you're out of that 120 bucks and you have nothing but all base cards. I mean that's I mean that's what we that's what a lot of people do now though, but breaking in boxes and breaks and don't grab stuff. But for those of us who are very interested in cars like that, we do it. 
Um, uh, yeah. Would I ever become one of them big old time breakers? Mm, probably not. Do I want to be? Eh, nah. I was in a live stream the other night and trying to trying to communicate with the guy in there and didn't even get any knowledge. Didn't even like tell me, hey, I was asking him what's going on in this break and what are these cards and how did I get in and blah, blah, blah. Nothing. No answer, no nothing. So I said, screw you. Yeah, and that, I mean, depends on what times. Um, I'm just like I said, waiting for a moment to get off work. Maybe we can hit, hit a few of them up. I'm going to show you all these cards real quick, what I have. And then uh, that's the stack for the night, for the day. Because I got to get up and uh, get cash dressed. I'm going to go outside for a little bit. Some fresh air. We got a triple, triple relic of uh, Javarius Crichtonson, Jordan Farmar, and a Monta Ellis, number 299. I got this one from Crazy's Auctions when he was doing his auctions. Then we have a Svi Kralichnech, whatever his name is, from the Lakers, when he was playing with the Lakers. Old Kansas uh, standout. Got a uh, Jake Layman. In layman terms, rookie remnants. And then uh, what we got here? Brandon Knight from the Suns, totally certified to 16 to 17. Fabric game. And then this one is a uh, Damian Lillard. Oh, Sam, I forgot to mention. Uh, I'm trying to remember, was it was it you that sent me a Whit Merrifield auto? Uh, I think it was from Gypsy Queen. Got a Magic Johnson All Star game. Scotty Pippen tops All Star um, second team. Uh, Dwight Howard, oh Dwight Howard rookie debut. I wonder what that is. That value is at. White Howard is he was a stud, he did do his thing. Really, dude? What are you wearing? Come here. A scarf. Stand right here. Stand right there. No, back up. Stand up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Right there. Check this out, Sam. K9. Look at this dude. He come out of the bedroom with this thing on. Say what's up to uh Cash Jackson. What are you wearing? Get out of there. So yeah, you're on camera. Say what's up, everybody. Look at his new style. <laughs> All right, go. I'll be done in a minute. Well, apparently, uh, I don't know if you've seen JR's um, video, upload video of, of my mail date to him that we traded cards for. Well, he has that card. Um, so I need to go get it back. I did not know that that card was in the stack that he had. Uh, he, whenever we traded cards, he was picking up Tatis cards and different colored cards. Well, uh, I didn't realize that, I didn't realize that I had that, uh, Merrifield in there. You know, because my PC, of course, I'm not going to get, I can't get rid of him. Plus, it's a gift. So, I didn't realize I had that in there. Um, so, you know, I just didn't check the full stack because I just seen he was asking for Tatis and some different other Alonzo's that I had. So uh, whenever I seen the video the other day, I'm like, holy sh oh shit, where'd that come from? So uh, yeah, I need to uh, meet up with him and see if I can get that back. I mean, he paid for the stack, but uh, the point is, is it was a gift. Plus it's a, it's a, uh, it's a PC player. And I could have sworn that was in, a, a, yeah, it's in the wrong stack. So, uh, if you see that video or you've seen it, um, I apologize if you felt, I don't know, um, disrespected or whatnot. If someone, you, you send a, a gift to someone and they just get rid of it and sell it. That was not the intention. So, um, in case you did do see that or haven't seen it or you watch it now, that is what it is. But it will come, turn the light off. Turn those off. Oh, turn that one off. That's outside. Thank you. So, yeah, that was, uh. 
as I was watching with Mama, she's like, what, 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 you give him that card? I'm like, uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't know it was in there. I didn't, I should have checked the stack that he got, but, um, I didn't know he grabbed the auto of Merrifield, um, because I didn't tell him that it was in there. All right, I guess he assumed that all the cards were in there were. Sam says you're super cash with that scarf on or that bow tie, whatever you have it. All right, go with super cash. And this one is a um, from last year's NBA hoops, I believe. This is uh, a Justin James orange looking refractor parallel number 25. That's a cool card. That is a cool card right there. And this one is uh, the same, but not numbered. Kevin Knox is second. All right. And this one is a Nikola Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic. one this is from this year's Ty Jerome well not this year but I still say this year because it hasn't it kind of is you know because they're playing the season chrome. what can I get a tops chrome can I get tops chrome yeah uh why because I love tops chrome all right he and loves he, lo he loves tops chromes and the astros sweet it's Damian Lillard I had, I had to put you in that room and keep you in that room saying you like the Astros, boy. Damian Lillard, uh, $199. Cool card there. Let's leave these up. This one is a Court Kings. Seasons in the League 6. And it is a 3 of 5. Holy shit. Three of five Ty Lawson for the Nuggets. That is definitely a sweet card. And I do believe I do know a huge... Um, no, not right now. Uh, the huge uh, Denver Nuggets fan. That is a very nice. Six seasons in the league. Ty Lawson and it's a three of five. That's cool. And it's not auto, but I wonder if... Uh, how much you can get the other four of these cards for and just have all five of them and if they won't if they all look the same that'd be pretty cool that is definitely going to be going out to Bubba out for the RSR family there Terrell takes flight three Gerald Terrell Minnesota Timberwolves sticker auto rookie number to 75 and this is a uh, Last year, it's a cool card. This I got rookie card Panini Torre Murray Rising Tide autographs. Cool. Another sticker auto. Never heard of this guy, but it's an upper deck. I don't even know this card, dude. High gloss. What does this thing say? Pros. Wow, this is upper deck randomness. Turkish Airlines, Euro League. Bruce Bramberg. Ricky Hickman. Hmm. Alrighty then. That is definitely a random basketball card right there. So if you're a Ricky Hickman fan, you can have that card there. Andrew Nicholson, on card auto. Orlando Magic forward. Some kind of a cool looking card. Huh. Andrew Nicholson on card auto. It's like a wood grain type. Uh, the Anthony Melton. Grizzlies. College ticket from Nuni Nuni Omat. Nuni Omat Omats. 
Luke Cornett. Troy Brown Jr. sticker auto. Jordan Bell sticker auto. Nice. Harry Giles. Harry Giles. Anti Zizak. Signature series optic Donruss from last year 2017. Wow. RJ Hunter. On card auto. Rookie card from Boston. 2015. He probably don't play anymore. Uh, oh, I thought that was a Kobe auto. I was like, what the hell? Darius Morris. Shaq Rat. What is up, dude? You're catching us at the end of the stream. I'm about to uh, shut it down here as soon as I get these cards on the with y'all. Um, just showing up some basketball, man. I did some baseball earlier, but honestly, I'm just pooped out and wore out of baseball. When you're looking at baseball, it's just hurting my brain. Feeling some type of way right now with baseball. Baseball cards and uh, in general, cards in general. See me sh Well, does that say? Simi Shitsu. Simi Shitsu. Who does he play for now? Vanderbilt right there. Simi Shitsu. Or Simi Shit. Just take off the U. Simi Shit. Simi Shit. <laughs> oh shit. Yanti Yanti Maton? Hmm. That's that's good. Hopefully, yeah, I'm, gotta get that pain away, man. Can you imagine that thing? Ryan R.C. Diaciano, signature series optic Donruss, number to twenty-five. Nice. Oh, these cards go for there. Uh, did you get the link I sent to you last night? By the way, Shack Rat, the second one. Um, not sure. You know who a Sean uh Sean T. Ford is? Or Tefford, however you want to call it. Man, there's an MJ right there. Cool. Michael Jordan, take flight right there. That's a good picture. Uh, what's this from? This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six NBA, six years in the NBA. What year is this though? Nineteen ninety-two. Michael Jordan card. It's a cool looking card there. Uh, we have uh, Chris Weber. All right. Chris Weber. Michigan 5, huh? For some reason, that has marked 20 bucks on it. All right. And then uh, Will Chamberlain Heroes. And these came from Sam, I believe, right? These two right here. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Mike Mitchell, Terry Tyler. Some kind of... Oh, uh, that first link I sent you that you came in uh, was from Vet City Live Sports Cards back here. That auction we were in. That is a tough channel, man. You definitely go support this guy. My old race too. If you, if you uh, race haven't already been there, if you knew him before I do, then cool, awesome. I got my old okay. tracks to a wall trap. Right on. Um, I've got some good stuff out of there, man. Can't wait for the video to upload when I get it. Do a live video. Uh, that other one I sent you is from Sean T. Ford. He, um, yeah, he definitely has your PC Yelich card you're looking for. Um, he said he was going to take the whole stack for 400 bucks, But uh, he's got about a good 15 or 20 uh, Christian Yelich cards. Yeah, that's... I mean, whoo, Shaq Rabbit loved this one. Got the Mark Price with the Melendez brothers back there. Oh, Sam B sent me this one. After they murdered their parents, they went on a little spending spree. And I'm busy right now. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, the Vet City Live Sports you were, but the uh, Sean Teaver with the Yellow Autos is what I was telling. Tell I sent the second one. You might want to check the second stream out. Got a Kevin Love relic from Stratus, Status, however you want to call it. Yeah, you were in there for a minute. And you, yeah, it took off. I don't know where you went, but you might have fell asleep. And this is a class, Glass Rookie. What is this thing? Glass Rookie see-through. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, for all of them, he was asking 400 If someone wanted, if someone wanted to give him 400 right there on a the spot, he would take it. But uh, he bought them for, um, what do you say? Uh, how much did he say? I don't know. I think he said like uh, 250 or 300 but he, he figured, you know, he would get them, and he only got them just he only got them to move. So he he don't collect Yelich. He just got a good deal on them, and he figured um, he'll get them for for that steal and move them and sell them for a little bit of profit for himself, but also not expensive for the uh, person that's looking for the Yelich. So yeah, go check out that go check out that um, stream. There are some sick autos, man. I mean, for four hundred bucks for a Yelich collector, that may be a that may be a nice uh, potential uh, steal or just to add to your PC. Pretty cool cards he had, though. He'd probably be uh, jelly over there and want to break through this the channel screen and, and get him. Hamadayo Diallo, rookie sensations. Yeah, it's Sean, S-E-A-N-T-E-A-F-O-R-D. Uh, Sean T. Ford, I believe it is. Got a San Antonio Spurs, Lonnie Walker. Clay Thompson's. So, yeah, you got to look out for the uh, next video I upload. It's going to be a mail day from uh, this channel. This dude right here is awesome. Check him out. Vet City Live Sports Cards Auctions. Um, I actually got my first vintage cards. And I will say that those vintage cards are pretty pretty nice, man. Um, and a lot of most of them he said are really good to really good and gradable. So if I wanted to grade them, he would um he would suggest that yeah, they they definitely get worth grading. If I wanted to, of course, but I just gotta find the right person to send them and get graded. And um, the money for it, you know, because you know they ain't cheap to grade. But right now, I think I'm gonna end the stream because I gotta get this stuff cleared from this box and get Cash Jackson face cleaned up and teeth brushed and washed up, and we're gonna go hang outside for a little while. So, oh, we're gonna go outside for a lot while he said, a lot while. A big while. Make sure y'all say to mama if she pops in here. Make sure y'all say hi. Say hello to mama. Mama's hanging out in the background with us. I'd have to see what he has for those yellowches and see what they're worth. What he's asking and I'll probably hit him up. Can you send me that link again or do you... Uh, I'll go to... I'm going to go back here. I'll go to your, your, your text message and hit the same link. And I'll see if it plays. If it does, then I'll copy it and send it to you. But yeah, that's a pretty cool video. You have you probably have more knowledge on what uh, those cards are worth than I do because you're a Yelich collector. So, but yeah, thank you all for coming through. Um, I will see you all around. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll be making any more live videos with baseball cards as I thought I was going to as with the um, weekly weekly stuff. I'm just bummed out of it, man. I'm just pooped out. I'm just wore out. I'm exhausted. Um, I think I'm just doing too much with cards right now. I'm trying to move things and um, trying to share with others what I have. And, um, you know, put them at a low price, of course, and not moving. Um, not moving them out. 
thinking they would. So, um, and I got some people interested in probably buying, buying them per per uh, 5k box. So they're interested in all of them. I mean, I'm, I'll give them. I'll let them all have them. All of them. If that's how it is at the moment, man. So y'all know what I have in my cards. So if I can get a hundred box, hundred bucks a box of these new modern day stuff in football i'll do it why not because then i can start out fresh with a new new year new cards and um might just stick with some hobby <coughs> i told mama that uh whenever we get our taxes back i said uh i think we're gonna go to the hobby shop and buy a thousand dollars worth of product and uh Put them online in breaks and try to make some money back for them. Uh, a lot of people like hobby, and there's some cards out there that people may want and want to break into that can't really go out there and get it. So, uh, do I? Am, are we gonna probably spend a thousand dollars? Probably not. But that was just a uh, that was just a um, joke I messed with Mama with. So. Now I gotta find some more top loaders. But if we go anywhere today, we're probably gonna go try to, to Walmart and maybe we'll get lucky and get some Optic Donner's bas basketball. If I do that, then that's will be that'll be our next stream. If I do get it, trust me, I will let y'all know. And those of you who have my text will definitely be first of knowing, and um, we'll be the first to get a few spots. Or team or whatnot if I decide to do like a little team break or something yeah those of you who have my number will definitely get those first um, so you all know who you are so with that said I will holler at y'all later KC9 Shaq Rat Sam uh, and whoever else is in there, not very much people. I think the, I think the total I have was five today. Spend one k on like two, three boxes. I'll just go to the card shop. Hey, look, I got this amount of money. I got a YouTube channel. I got tons. Of, I got I got a lot of subscribers. And by me getting some hobby boxes. I will, you know, you kind of sponsor you or, or promote you on your on your at on your hobby store or your online store. Uh, get your name out there with people that may not know your shop and your deals and whatnot, and go from there. That might be cool. Kind of throw, kind of throw that out there to the shop. Like, look, doing a, I'm gonna do my live break. If you want a shout out, you know, I mean, I'll buy a few products from you, but hey, what about throwing in? A few of those nice little hobby boxes you have there. I mean, you'll make it. You'll make it back in just sales of people from my channel. They make enough back anyway, so. Ouch. No. Oh. Baby, 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 baby. I think. Uh, I'm gonna try to get um, some info on all my car all these cards I have in my box of top loaders and see what what's what's worth what are they worth and mark them down uh, a certain price and move them and move them faster. Just come on the channel and say here, look, this is what this card is selling for. Give me this amount for it, and it's yours. Honestly, I'm willing to move them all out, to be honest. This card thing is consuming my life. And it's uh, a bit much, man. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm out of here. My venting is done. 
And Cash is in there singing, ready to roll. All right, all right, all right. Peace out. Casey Nation is out. Oh, we're Brad. I'm breaking work. Wanted to say hi. I think I emailed you. Yeah, I just see that right now, but I can't reply back because I'm on live. But I'm about to head off out here. I got to go hang out with Cash outside and get him around, playing around the house or outside with the ball or whatnot. Um, I'll check that later on. But I did find some more Vados, a couple more autos from your Cincinnati Reds. And I did get more Cincinnati Reds cards from another break. So uh, I will let you know. And uh, we'll go from there. Have a good day, y'all. Have a good night. Peace out.